Welcome back to Diva's channel here on YouTube. It's your girl Tiny, and so we are going to be studying for my finals that are coming up in like five days. Um, so I have a review session today in class, but it starts at 10. It's 8:56. I gotta catch the shuttle. I'm about to be late. So I started my study guide, but I haven't finished, and we have a review session today, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna have to give y'all updates on my classes and everything. Later, my pathophysiology final is on Tuesday and my pharmacology final is on Thursday. All right, y'all, it is 9.09. .09. I lost already. Finals at 10. How am I gonna finish two more pages of a study guide? How? We gonna try that. Say hi to Ken, y'all. Here's the study guide. It's a whole, you know, four pages of stuff, not even information that I'm gonna have to write on. But right now, I'm caught up to the musculoskeletal function, and so I'm gonna be like starting from around here and doing this much in hopefully 40 minutes. Here are the notes I have so far. It's about like 28 pages. No, well, it is 28 pages. Yes, it's my map. Let's get started. Nothing I can do. I'm just gonna say I'm not gonna know what I'm talking about. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hope you are all well. To be able to figure out like what the cause or the source of the bleeding would be. Thank 
I just stopped taking notes because I can't even keep up. So, patients, you know, to help. You want the patients to avoid trying to, um, even when they're falling down and having any breaks. Use of calcium for a significant drop in their cortisol levels. So they can take x-rays to see if there's any evidence of osteoporosis. Infection, swelling of bone tissue, and it's usually because of kids, which is in you know, 4, 5, and 13. They have chemokin ligand 1 and 18, but it's extremely important to know. Okay, so it's time for me to go the review session ended up being a whole two hours and basically almost three hours so um i don't even know what i'm gonna do i feel so overwhelmed i'm just i don't know how i'm about to study for this final there's so much information i'm about to go pick up a package and then i'm gonna go home and then i'm gonna give y'all an update okay. so all right so my professor was basically like everything that i seen or that we went over inside the review session is going to be on the test so i'm gonna write everything that she said in the review session in my study guide so now i'm going to pick up my package and i probably won't have to get COVID tested because i haven't got COVID tested in a minute so I'm going to do that, and then I'm going home. So I just need to go get the package. And it don't got nothing in it. So now I got to go to Amazon and try to get a new one. Isn't that crazy? I'm about to go get COVID tested now. At the zoo booth. You just trying to, to eat me bill. up right now. You need to be at the bill next year. Nope. I'm gonna stay where I'm at. Okay. I'm joking. Bye. Okay. So my shuttle, my little ride, is coming in 15 minutes. What am I gonna do to them? I don't know. Oop. She tried to leave me. Then she gonna come pick me up. That's so crazy. I ain't trying to leave you. Try. Out here trying to pick me up. I'm back and about to do a little uh, room clean before I get ready because I have to go to work today. Yeah. I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, TT. Two turn baby, girl, you know me. Still with the girls that I grew beside. Hey, yeah, so I did a little cleaner room. I mean, I still got some other places to clean, but for now. This will do. So usually how it work is, so I take a test um, in patho. The next week I take a test in pharmacology. There'll be a break for the next week, and then it will repeat. So the first test I took in patho, I got a 90. The second test I took in patho, I got a I got a 93. My third exam in patho, I got a 94. And then the last test I took, I got a 122. I was really excited about that. Like I was crying after I finished taking that test because I was just so overwhelmed and happy with the fact that I passed my test so well. So for pharmacology, it was much more difficult only because it's like you're learning, you're not learning about diseases that you know make sense. You're learning more about the drugs and you have to learn how the drugs work and you learned about the duration of action. And then it's on set and all this other stuff it's just like I never know how much about the drug I'm supposed to study especially when there's so many for you know one disease so for my first pharmacology test let's see what I got so my first test I see yellow so I don't even know it must have been like a it was a B okay so I got an 80, 88 I got an 88 
for the first exam. Then the second exam, I got a 86. And then my third exam, I got a 94. Most recent exam I got, um, had, I got a 96. So, you know, I was excited about that because I was just finally getting A's on pharmacology tests because, you know, I was studying better and I was definitely looking at more of the stuff they were highlighting more and I was like grasping the concepts more. I've been watching more videos um, and yeah. So I was excited about that because I was not always doing so well in pharmacology. Well, you know, a B as well, you know. C's get degrees too, but we ain't trying to get C's over here. We're trying to get all A's. Pharmac uh, but I also have to do my pharmacology study guide, which I didn't even start. <laughs> I didn't even start that. Um, I don't even know if I'll do that. If anything, I might wait till she does a review session. But I'll still review, like, my friend sent me her, so I'll still review it. But I won't write notes on it because I'm probably going to do it all over again once she does the pharmacology um, review session anyway. So, Alright, y'all. So, your girl is definitely overwhelmed. Um, I have to go to work. I'm already high key late. And you know, it's spring fling this week and I can't even be outside for real because I gotta worry about this final. I literally have a final next Tuesday and then on Thursday. And then I have work every day except for Thursday this week and except for the weekend. And the weekend and Thursdays I'm just trying to catch up with, you know, my review sessions and then my notes that I need to be going over because I can't really try to study on Monday. I have work on Monday. It's just, I don't like studying last minute and I would like to start now. And the best way to start now is if I just, you know, omit some of the spring clean events. Um, I know they got like a concert with G Herbo, Fabio, um, Capella Gray, some other people I can't remember right now, but it's just like, I can't go because I gotta put myself first. I gotta put my work first. I gotta put finals first. I gotta put me first, Lucius. <laughs> So yeah, I'm not gonna go to some of the school events. I'm just gonna stay here and study. It's just good to know that at least I'm in good standing so far for the classes. So I know if I at least get like a high B on the finals, I'll have an A in these classes. Yeah, Um. so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to work um, and I will bring y'all, but it's been really busy at work so I know I won't get a chance to do that. So I'm just gonna work when I get back for like an hour or two and then try to finish my review stuff tomorrow and i'm off on thursday so the whole thursday i'm about to take y'all with me so y'all can see me really study and get myself together even though i have a whole new review session for patho i mean for pharmacology so i'm gonna see y'all later hey guys so i recently just came back from work um i ended up leaving at seven instead of eight and we had a little karaoke night um over here on campus i'm like yeah you know me and my best friend was singing it up <laughs> so you know we did a little karaoke and i ended up leaving there at nine when i was really supposed to leave there at eight because that's originally when i supposed to leave work so um i don't really know if i want to do the studying thing i'm so tired i just don't know if i have the energy to start a whole new study guide right now so basically my studying today is going to end and i'm going to try again tomorrow and I'll just end up vlogging what I do on Thursday. Today's Tuesday, so I'm going to end up vlogging what I do on Thursday instead because I have the whole day off. I just have to try at least to get the hang of studying for finals because I've been really slacking and procrastinating for the past two weeks. I'm surprised I'm even making this video right now. It's like, you know when you feel like you have a lot to do, so you don't even know where to start, so you just don't start. That's how it's been. So again, thank you guys for tuning in to the best channel here on YouTube. Tune in for the next video, the part two of my studying.